Welcome into a quick tutorial where we're going to look at how to make up crumpled paper. And I'll be doing a follow up video where we'll talk about how to throw it into a waste can. But let's go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything on the screen by hitting A to select everything and hit delete. I'm going to hit 7 for top view. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create our piece of paper. So we're going to do Shift A, Mesh Plane. I'm going to do Scale uh, three times. So S3. I'm going to hit Enter. And now then, I am going to set up so we can go ahead and uh, UV unwrap this. I'm going to open the UV editor over here. And this is, I'm going to go to my desktop here. I've got this picture we're going to use over here. And I'm going to quickly jump over to shading. I'm going to add a new shader. I'm going to shift A to search for a texture shader. I want to use an image texture. Put it here. I'm going to plug color to base color. I'm also, I've got Node Wrangler enabled, so I'm going to hit Control T to add the extra nodes. And I'm going to open up that same picture I just opened in UV Editor. And here we go. Let's go ahead and go back to layout. I'm going to switch over to rendered mode so I can see it. As you can see, the picture doesn't line up just like I want it to. So I'm going to tab in, go over here, and I am going to select A, and I am going to scale this guy down about here. And I'm going to select these top two guys. And I am going to bring them down to the top of the picture where I want them to. Uh, and then I'm going to select these two side guys and do the same thing. I'm going to bring them over to where I want to. And then lastly, I'm going to do that over here and bring that over to where I want to. So you can see I now kind of have my picture uh, lined up a little bit like I want to. Uh, I am going to right click and join areas and join that way. Uh, I am going to scale this guy a little bit on the x-axis to make it more shaped like a like a legal uh, I mean not legal but a letter size piece of paper instead of being a perfect square so now we have our paper almost ready the only other thing I want to do is I want to right click and subdivide and I am going to go up to the 10 subdivisions uh, let's see what we're going to do 15 15 is not enough. Let me go to 20. Uh, 20 doesn't seem to be enough. I'm going to do 24. Okay. I think 24 subdivisions should be enough. And I'm going to X out of that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, create the object that is going to uh, deform our paper. So I'm going to switch into wireframe mode for a minute. I'm going to hit, make sure I'm in object mode. I'm going to hit shift A. I want to add a mesh UV sphere. And I am going to scale that guy up to where it is bigger than my sheet of paper. Uh, I am going to then go into add a modifier and add a subdivision. I'm mean not subdivision server, so I'm going to solidify it. And I'm going to up the thickness maybe to uh, 0.8 is fine. I just want to make sure that there's enough uh, thickness that our collisions work out well. So I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to make this a collision object. I'm going to hit I and scale and I'm going to jump over here to 50 and I'm going to scale this guy down to about, I don't know, maybe about 50% of the paper because that's about the size I want my Y to be and I'm going to hit I and scale again. So as you can see we have an animation and this animation is going to be what shrinks our paper but our paper is not ready to be wadded up just yet so we're going to select our paper and we're going to add a cloth and there's a couple of things we want to do we can select uh, a, a uh, preset and for this one we're going to select leather and then there's three things we're going to do we're going to start here uh, under damping and we're going to give it a bending of 15 we're going to scroll down a little bit further we're going to open up collisions and we're going to apply self collisions and I'm going to up that fr friction to about a 10 and then in field weights I'm going to turn gravity off because I don't want the uh, the plane the, the piece of paper to, to drop 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to play our animation. And you see it's crumpling up that paper. And I'm going to stop at 50. And I'm going to hide the sphere in both um, the viewport and in uh, rendering. And I'm going to jump over here to uh, our render shading. And look at this. We've got a pretty good crumpled up piece of paper, but you can see it's kind of imperfect. So I want to right click. I'm going to shade smooth, which helps it out a little bit. And then I'm going to add a couple of modifiers to it. So the first modifier I'm going to add is a subdivision surface to clean it up a little bit. And then I also want to add a solidify modifier. And now, as you can see, we've got a crumpled up piece of paper. It's got some good geometry to it. Um, and then if we want to use it as an object, we can save this crumpling and we're just going to start applying these modifiers. So I'm going to apply the cloth modifier. I'm going to apply the subdivision surface and I'm going to apply uh, the solidify. And so now we have this wadded up piece of paper. I hope that is helpful to you and I will have a video coming out shortly on how we're going to throw this into a garbage can using basic physics. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.